if this video is edited and uploaded on time, there is just one day left until I shave my head. This is the last video you will see with me with hair. If you still want to donate, the link is below. We have reached my target of £200, which is amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who donated. But just because we've reached my target, doesn't mean we should stop donating. So keep donating, keep sharing, do all that lovely stuff. Now, as you've probably established from the title, I am talking in this video about the play that I saw at the Playhouse Theatre, and that play is The Jungle. I knew before I went to see the show that I was gonna be emotionally destroyed. Had no idea what it was about, but I saw loads of tweets saying that it was really emotional, it was a roller coaster, it was really important, and it's really inspiring. So I knew that if that was affecting other people, because I'm an emotional wreck, I was gonna get emotional as well. It wasn't until I showed up at the theatre that I realised what it was about. If you don't know, it is about the Calais refugee camp, which is quite recent. I think in 2016, it was like the main news coverage. As soon as I realised that's what it was about, I was like, there's no way I'm coming out of this without crying. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time that there's been a play or any piece of theatre like this. There's not been anything talking on such an issue that is so relevant and real. So one thing I love about this play is that it really opens your eyes. It tells you the stories of many characters throughout the show and how they came from their countries to Calais, their journey there, why they're there, what it's like while they're in the camp. It's quite a journey in the play. From the word go, it's an absolute emotional roller coaster. Now, when you get your tickets, it's quite unusual seating. You could book for the restaurant. In the stalls, you have like Afghanistan and Sudan and, and countries where you can choose to sit, which is actually your seating arrangement. So I was sat in Afghanistan A6 and I sat in the wrong seat three times because when you went into the theatre, the way that it used to be with stalls and stage has been stripped out completely. What's happened is they've adjusted it so there's benches and cushion where you can sit instead and the stage is kind of like a platform that weaves through the audience it's somewhat unusual in the way it's staged because they're kind of walking through you and acting through you and around you which i think is amazing i think it's really clever and it's an unusual type of setting which means that people are going to remember it more and when the play is being carried out it works really well with the action that's happening and the way it's staged i think if it was just a standard seating stage arrangement it wouldn't work quite as effectively the play is based on reality from what i can gather the events of the play are real but the characters are fictional so they're real stories from real people but fictional characters i think that's right if it's wrong please correct me but that's what i've found from reading online the play starts at the end the first scene you see is what you see at the end of the play again and it's quite a dramatic scene. It's very chaotic, there's a lot going on, and you're just kind of thrown in at deep end. It starts with a camp eviction, essentially. I think it's like the third one they've had that year or something like that. Quite a few they've had. And so, naturally, refugees are protesting against it. And I'm not joking, about 40 seconds into this first scene, I was welling up with tears already. It's so moving and powerful how they've performed it. And then what happens is after that initial first scene, you then go back to the beginning and Safi, who acts as the narrator, shows you the events that lead up to that last scene. And then at the end of the play, you find out what's happened to the Calais refugee camp now and how things have changed since then. One thing I really like about it is that the characters who tell their stories, they all get their own dedicated scene or stage time to tell their story and their journey of how what their life used to be like at home, how they went from living in their own country at home to traveling all these hundreds and thousands of miles and then ending up in Calais in the refugee camp. It's the struggles that they had to get to where they are now and it's their feelings of being stuck here in Calais and not being able to make it to the UK. I like how every character has kind of been allocated a little bit of time to tell their personal story. So you don't just hear one character story, I think you hear like five or six maybe. Because we've got to remember these aren't just fictional characters. These are journeys that real people are going through. This isn't a made up issue. This is a genuine issue that's happening in the world today. And that's why I think this play is so, so important. It's so relevant, it's so important. And I saw the play like two weeks ago. I didn't realize, but I saw it in previews. And the fact that two weeks later, nearly three weeks, I'm still thinking about it almost on a daily basis. That tells you just how emotional and empowering it is. And it's really had a profound effect on me. The one message that I really took away from the jungle is that we have to do better to help refugees, we really do. I think that the play is very good in highlighting the issues that need to be resolved. That these are people who are asking for our help and they're not getting it, they're not getting any help. All they want to do is come to the UK and instead of having a safe way to get from Calais to the UK, they're doing things like hiding in moving lorries and jumping onto moving trains 
and holding on underneath lorries for hours at a time and they're just doing really dangerous things to try and get to a place of sanctuary. I gave every bit of change I had on the way out to try and give something at least as a donation but one thing I love is that they've now got booths where if you haven't got any change on you you can use your contactless card and choose how much you want to donate and you can donate that way so there really isn't an excuse not to donate on the way out and I understand I am a poor uni student I understand that people might not have the funds to donate but a lot of times I wanted to donate to charities and I had any change. But now thanks to these contactless booths, you can now pay donations by card. So that's really helpful, especially to someone like me. One message that I absolutely love that is consistent throughout the play is that it is quite a depressing play. I won't beat around the bush. It's sad, it's heartbreaking, it's emotional for all the right reasons. One consistent theme I absolutely love is the sheer amount of hope within the characters. Like no matter what, they've always got that hope that they might get to the UK tonight, they might do it. There's always a little bit of positivity they hold on to. In terms of the acting, the cast outdo themselves 100%. This must be such a tough and emotionally draining show to perform. I've luckily been twice now and both times I've left in absolute pieces. The first time I went to go see it, I couldn't even speak to my friend for about an hour afterwards because I was so choked up with emotion. So the cast really do excel in their roles. They should all be hugely proud of themselves because they really do deserve it and they've earned it. One thing I noticed after the shows is that when everyone's leaving, it is complete and utter silence, just as it should be. No one utters a word after the bows as they're leaving the building. I look around the room and I see so many people crying. I'm usually crying as well. You can really see the effect the play has had on people. And I think that's personally the effect it should be having on people. If it makes people feel something, if it makes people want to take action, if it makes people want to make a difference, then the play has absolutely done its job. I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos. It might have been one of my immersive videos, but the one thing I love about theatre is it can really have a profound effect on people. This show has an effect on people telling them about a real issue. It's just a piece of theatre, but it causes a change. So that's what we need. We need more shows like this, which are based on reality, which will get people thinking and get people taking action and doing stuff. One thing I found is that even though the play starts at the end and, spoilers, there is a death beginning, by the time the end of the play arrives, you've become so connected with these characters and you've got so involved in their stories and you have so much hope for them to make it to the UK that when that same character at the end dies, thinks back to the first scene you saw, your heart breaks even more. I knew it was coming, but it still absolutely broke me because I had so much hope for him to get to the UK, along with everyone in the camp. I had so much hope for them all to get to the UK. And then at the end they give you some facts and figures about what the camp is like now and how many people make it to the UK. and the sheer number of people trying to get to the UK and it just breaks my heart because these are real people who just want somewhere safe to live and they can't even find that. Unfortunately the refugee camp The Jungle in Calais has in fact been bulldozed. It was bulldozed in 2016 but there are still refugees in northern France trying to come across to the UK. Now the official charity working with this play to try and make a difference is Help Refugees. I will put the link below, please go and check out their website because I just think that this is something that we can't ignore. This play is something different. It's completely different, absolutely unique, just absolutely wonderful. Everyone involved with the play should be so proud of themselves. The cast, the crew, the creative team, the directors, the producers, the charity who works with it. They should all be absolutely proud of themselves. They're doing such amazing work telling a story as real as this for people who need their stories told. And if this play doesn't make a difference, we'll just have to keep working until a difference is made. Thank you so much for watching and bye.